a lot of controversy these days on the new legislation that came into force January 1st that prohibits purchase by non-Canadians of residential properties. The rapid price increases in 2022 prior to all these rate of interest hikes. That was the intention to curtail the increase of property prices, primarily in Toronto, Vancouver, Calgary, and to a lesser extent, Montreal. The unfortunate consequence of this legislation is that rental prices of properties, that market is becoming red hot, very difficult to find property rentals for many young Canadians, because as I said, the property prices to rent are rapidly increasing, especially in Toronto. The exception to this law, meaning you can buy property if you're a foreigner, if you are a Canadian permanent resident, if you are a study permit holder, if you are a work permit holder, if you are a diplomat, and if you're purchasing property in so-called cottage country, which is not yet defined. If you're a worker and you want to purchase property, you need to produce three years of tax returns. That's quite onerous. That means if you're a worker coming to Canada, you have to wait three years. How many workers in 2023? 600,000. Next year, about 700,000, projecting even further, perhaps 800,000. That means over 2 million workers will not be able to purchase property because they won't have three years of tax returns. It's totally unreasonable to make workers wait that long. And yet study permit holders, young students, their parents can buy properties in Toronto or Vancouver, Montreal, Calgary, etc. Policymakers need to rethink this legislation. They need to temper down the qualifications for temporary workers because companies that relocate to Canada, their executives will have to rent for years at very high prices. All of this puts strain on the rental property market. Temper down this legislation by requiring much less onerous proof of real intention to come and work in Canada. This will probably strike a better balance of the intended goal of reducing property price increases for the purchase market and allowing renters to not have to face such rapid increase in their rental costs. How do you feel about this new legislation? Are you a young Canadian facing rapid rental property price increases? Are you an executive looking to relocate to Canada? Are you considering other options other than Canada? And would this issue be a problem for you if you can't purchase property in Canada for the next three years? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. For more information on this topic, check the link in our bio, follow, share, and like our content.